right guys, well welcome back. Since it's too windy outside to go fishing, I figured I would show you guys what I've been doing this afternoon to get set up and have a station where I can actually edit stuff a little bit easier instead of on the uh, kitchen table. So originally I started about 60 days ago, starting to post some videos and tried to do it just with my iPhone and my uh, iPad, but unfortunately, it's a little bit tougher. It's easier for small clips and everything, but if you're going to edit a full length video, it's nice to have a little bit better setup. So I made the leap and spent a little bit of money to make it a little bit more comfortable and easier for when I am doing some editing because it does take quite a bit. Um, I know everybody's watched a lot of videos and people say in there that it does take quite a bit. Many hours to edit a half an hour video it could take six or seven hours especially for someone like me who's just starting out. So here's what I've come up with, and I'll share that with you. All right, so the first thing that I acquired for this upgrade was an Apple MacBook Pro. This is the 14, I got it at Costco. The reason I got it at Costco, um, they do have a pretty good selection there, but they did have $150 off, plus they give you an extra year of warranty. The Apple warranty is one year, Costco does another year on top of that. And then Costco also has a deal with Allstate. It's about $109, I believe, and they give you a third year that wraps around the first two years also for damages. Pretty good investment to get one of these, so not a bad idea to get the extra warranty. The monitor I chose, the Mac was a little bit too expensive for me, so I went with I went to Best Buy, found this one. They had a on sale. It's a Samsung M8. MS80 Plus, I believe is what it's called. It is also a smart TV, so you can hook it to the Wi-Fi, not have your computer hooked to it, watch YouTube or any other streaming stuff that you take care of. Did get the Logitech mouse also instead of the Apple mouse. It's got a few more features on it, and it makes it a little bit easier. You can scroll side to side with, the, with your thumb, and it also has some other features that you can check out. And that's what I originally started editing on and I still use that while I'm editing to look stuff up and, and do different things. And um, The table we got off of Amazon and I wanted an adjustable one where if I am in here for a while it is a little bit nicer to be able to stand up. It's got different memory settings on it. I've only set number one and two so far so basically once you get a comfortable seating position press the M, set it for number one, and then my standing height is for two. So let me go back to the seating height. And I also did pick up this chair on Amazon. It's pretty inexpensive. I'll show you a little clip of me assembling that. It took about a half an hour. Wasn't quite aware that it was plastic, but it seems like it's pretty decent. It's fairly comfortable, easy to set up. And that's at the seating position now. May have to raise that just a little bit so I can tuck the chair in there. So it makes it easier to get around because I did set this up in our, in our bedroom, which isn't ideal, but the den is occupied with some other stuff right now. So once I get that figured out, I may move this to the den. Let me know what your setups are like this is your first time watching, thank you. If you're coming back for some more content, I appreciate that. Make sure you click the thumbs up button, subscribe if you like some of the content that I'm putting out, and share with your friends. Thank you and have a good day. So here's the Unbox Soho chair that we got from Amazon. Not super expensive, quality seems okay. We'll see how it goes together and I'll let you know. Alrighty, first part done, just assembling the bottom. It only took about five minutes. Hopefully this doesn't take very long at all to get completed. All right, we're about 17 minutes in, got most of it together. Just need to do the final assembly now. Okay, so all in all, not that bad of a deal for what you pay on these. First impression, everything in white is made out of plastic, so hopefully that'll hold up okay. Seems to be comfortable enough. 
and it looks pretty good from the back also.